Okay, I have with me uh, Nina from uh, the kindergarten. She's the main organizer. So introduce yourself and what, what your background is. Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Nina uh, in the demo scene. I'm from Um I'm, as he said, I'm the main organizer of this uh, party called Kindergarten, which is where we're at right now. And, uh, well, uh, what can I say? The party is going swell. Yes. And uh, so the, the demo scene, I've been writing about how in the Nordics, it, a lot of like companies have come from the, Nord from the demo scene background. Uh, and I uh, have a lot of like demo seniors. I talked to the people from uh, uh, Fanx, which was bought by Arm, and they, they had like a bunch of demo seniors. So is the demo scene very strong still in Norway? Because it's still quite strong in Finland, but what about Norway? Um, in Norway, it's, it's strong because of two things. First of all, the people at the gathering has done a, uh, a great job of doing lots of outsourcing with their the last five years or so. I, but I thought the gathering was uh, had turned into kind of like a gaming event. No, uh, it, it, well it has, in, but it also it's, it's has uh, still a quite strong demo scene presence because okay. there are actually demo uh, scenes who are doing the demo scene crew and so on. Okay. And they have been working really hard lately to, over, over the last years to to kind of yeah, get, get more attention back to the demo scene up together. So they've been trying to reintroduce like the demo scene kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. And, yeah, and they have done some really brilliant things up there. All right. And it has gotten people to come to the smaller parties, yeah. which there are two of in Norway. There's Kindergarten, which we're at now, and then there's Solskogen. Sorry? Solskogen. Okay. Uh, it's Soul in the summer. Yeah, it means sun forest. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's like a pun on the rainforest, basically. Yeah. So is that somewhere even further out in the forest than, than kinder, kindergarten? Uh, more or less the same, actually. Okay. Uh, most Norwegian parts, small parties are in the countryside now. Yeah. Why, why is that, by the way? Because uh, we have changed it into somewhere where you need to be. Um, uh, overnight, that's cheap, and uh, where you are allowed to bring your own alcohol and drink it, and where you can make as much noise as you want without the neighbors really complaining. Yeah, yeah. And we have this culture in Norway where you have these kind of locations uh, that are called community houses basically, so each smaller community has this one house in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. um, which is used for well, basically everything from the weekly lottery that they uh, arrange for whoever lives there to whoever lives there rents the place to hire uh, or to hold their own birthday parties when they're 50 or 60 or whatever they are and there's also a stage so if there's a traveling theater troupe or whatever they will come to this and there are a lot of them in Norway and uh, the basis of the uh, smaller demo scene uh, parties in Norway is that someone used to live around here so we just knew about this place so we rented that and then we kept on going because there was no point in like, finding uh, another place and they keep allowing you to come back yeah. like, every year yeah. and Amazingly uh, enough. It's amazingly enough. Actually, actually, in here it has been really amazing because there's a kindergarten downstairs, yeah. which is the reason, or one of the reasons for the party yeah. um, And we have been doing sound checks in the middle of the day when the kids were napping. That's the only time we have gotten any complaints about the, yeah. the audio. The cleaning lady of this place lives in the same building just over there, and she has never complained. And she is actually telling us that we are really quiet compared to other parties that they have. Oh. And, and these people allow us to have a bonfire uh, like on yeah. the yeah. side. Yeah. So these so guys are really cool. So Norwegian people, would they be um, very sort of um, you know, accepting of, of parties and activities like that? Yeah, but you can't so they're not like complaining so much? Mm -hmm. you can't do stuff in a like way, they the are, page. because they are kind of used to that this house is being oh, used for you have open a party. Yeah. You don't have um, well, in the countryside, oh, in any given uh, yeah. city, uh, I do. Or that's why we are opening you. Having given country, you, oh, yeah, yeah. you do well, get um, a lot of maybe hardcore partying from time to time. Yeah. Um, actually, the funniest thing is last year used it on we had a bit of a longer so talk with this cleaning lady, and she told us that the worst persons who have ever been here is uh, were youth yeah, from something that translates to the countryside youth union, uh -huh. and that was apparently the worst that she had ever. So actually, geek, geeks aren't aren't yeah, bad are as bad as, as the countryside geek. Yeah, union. and for the people watching. Uh, yeah. The tradi traditional it's demo singer is not 
the traditional the thing is, tea. I don't need to have they're, yeah. they're, they're not antisocial no, and uh, no, they're not. so they're they're a very lively bunch indeed. Yeah, yeah as you can see, if you will. Yeah. Not right now because some people are still working yeah, on their yeah. things that they're going to deliver in the competitions. But if you are by the bonfire, you're by yeah, the bonfire. Yeah, there's bonfires so. here and yes. alcohol and, and uh, good party. So uh, thanks very much for introducing yeah. Kindergarten and. Uh, I uh, hope the rest of the party is great. I, I do yep. like it. It's a lot faster.